In this video, I want to show you the dedicated administrator connection that you now have in SQL Server 2005. Now, notice I did a start run command. We're going to get to this through our SQL command functionality, so SQL CMD. But if you'll notice on the uh, help information on SQL command, notice right down here there's a hyphen capital A, and this is a dedicated administrative connection. Now, in earlier releases of SQL Server, you couldn't connect to a server that was unresponsive. It was locked up or anything. You couldn't log into it. So what Microsoft has done in the 2005 version is they've created what they call a dedicated administrative connection. You can access the server even if it hangs or if it's otherwise unavailable. The only time you can't connect to a SQL server with this guy is when the server has been stopped or paused. If there's any life left in it at all, you can connect using this method. Then, obviously, once you've connected to that server, then you execute some commands to try to unhang it, or better yet, and I'll show you right here, how to just restart the thing or how to shut it down and uh, bring it back up later. So, notice how tough this is. I'm going to do SQL CMD hyphen capital A. Now, again, in this instance, it's taking defaults. It's assuming that I'm trying to connect to Leesburg because that's where I'm currently connected uh, and so forth. It's taking defaults. Now, if I want to connect to another server, you know, I get out here and start putting S and putting the name of the server and all that sort of stuff. But for now, I'll just make it simple. Notice I just made a connection to the server. There it is. Now, what can I do here? Well, I could say uh, select top five. So I can select the top five rows from the uh, sysobjects table, all the columns, execute that. Now notice I have to play with this a little bit. I have to type go after it. It went and executed that. And notice I'm back to a command prompt. So I could get information from a server that's otherwise locked up to other people. Now, how does this work? Well, what's happened here is Microsoft has created the uh, dedicated administrator connection by giving it its own private scheduler, it's basically running in its own environment, if you will. I don't want to go too technical here, but trust me, it works. You can just connect. So let's say that we connected to this server. We ran some diagnostic tools. We, we determined, okay, let's just restart the thing. Let's just shut it down. Notice, all I have to do is tell it to um, shut down with no wait. And then if I type go here, this machine will shut down. I don't want to do that, so I just quit and got out. Very, very cool tool to have. When your server hangs, you don't necessarily have to just shut it down. If you know what's doing it, and you can handle it through command prompt, now you have to do some digging on the various ways to work with this particular tool. I would point you to some documentation. Also look for third-party books to be showing up on the marketplace to help you with these kind of administrative tools. Anyway, really cool thing. Keep this in your administrative toolbox. This will come in handy, I assure you.